everyone, and welcome to Storytime. I'm Miss Carly. I'm Miss Silvana. And we're so glad you could join us this week for Storytime, where every week we love to share songs, activities, and tips about our weekly theme. And this week's theme is all about the weather. That's right. It looks like Miss Silvana and I are dressed for different types of weather, huh? Yes. What do you guys think? Well, we'll, le we'll learn more about that later. But first, we've got to do our hello song. Will you guys join us at home? You ready? Yeah. All right, this is called Everybody Wave Hello, and it's to the tune of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Let's do it. Everybody wave hello, wave hello, wave hello. Everybody wave hello, let's have some fun. Everybody clap hello, clap hello, clap hello. Everybody clap hello, now our song is done. Good job. If you'd like to be included in our hello song, send a short 5 to 10 second video of your little one waving to library at buckeyeaz.gov. Let's learn a little bit more about weather. Weather is the daily state of the atmosphere or air in any given place. Whether it's sunshine and rain and snow and storms, it's what's going on outside right now. And the weather can be different in different places around the planet. In some places it's really sunny right now. Yeah, like I'm all dressed up for the summer with the sun. Uh, I got my, my hat ready, my sunglasses. I got some nice sandals on, all dressed up for the weather. That's right. In some places, it's snowing right now, and I'm dressed for the snow. I have my snow boots on, and my snow hat, and my scarf, and my big jacket, and I'm ready to go play in the snow. <clears throat> and many things can affect the weather, including the atmosphere, the sun, and the season. Temperature is one of the basic elements of weather, and temperature is how warm or cold it is outside. Let's take a closer look at just a few of the different types of weather. Yeah, Miss Carly, we have windy, like wind. And later in the afternoon, it's supposed to be very windy. And when that happens, the trees move. We have a lot of dust in the air also when it's windy. Yeah. Also, one of the types of weather is lightning storms. So oftentimes, the clouds will get really dark, and this will happen during, during when it's raining and then the lightning will light up the sky. It's real fun, beautiful. Yeah, and then we have kind of like a cloudy and sunny day. Sometimes we get a lot of clouds and the sun will come up again and it's just like a nice cooler day. Yeah, and sometimes, actually a lot of times here in Buckeye, it's just sunny all day long and there's no clouds in the sky. It's just sunny and hot. And Miss Silvana's dressed for that today. Yes, I got my hat ready. <laughs> Ah, we have a snow. That happens when the clouds get a lot, very dark and we get nice snow flurries and some people like to play in the snow. I like it too. Miss Carly's all dressed up for I that. I love to play in the snow. I'm ready. All right, my last one I have is a rainstorm. That's when there's dark clouds and rain or water falls from the clouds. And that's my favorite type of weather. I love it when it rains. I love the way it smells. I love to play in the rain. It's so fun. I wish it rained here more often. So these are just a few of the different types of weather. What's your favorite type of weather? Today we have a really fun activity about dressing some kids in clothes for different types of weather. So this is Jack and he wants to play in the sun. So we need to pick out some clothes that he can play in the sun in. And this is Lisa and she's gonna play in the snow. So we have to pick some clothes that she can play in the snow in. And it's important to dress for the type of weather that you're in because if you don't dress correctly, you could have a problem. Like if you're going to the sun and you're wearing a big heavy raincoat, you might get really hot and sweaty. And if you're going to play in the snow and say you're wearing flip flops, your feet will freeze. So we wanna make sure that we're dressed appropriately for the weather. So let's pick out some clothes and get these guys ready for their day. All right, let's see, what should we do first? Let's dress Jack first, and if he's gonna play in the sun, do you think he needs long pants or some shorts? Let's find some shorts. How about these ones? Yes, those look great. Now he needs a shirt. Do you think he needs a long sleeve shirt or maybe a short sleeve shirt? Do you guys see anything? What could we put him in? How about this one? This tank top would be great for the sun. 
Yes, he looks great. He's pretty good. He's ready, right? What else could we add, though, that he might need? Do you think he needs some shoes? How about some boots? Do you think he needs boots for the sun? No. What about some sandals? Let's do some sandals on his little feet. I think he'd like that. That would be great. He's ready to go play in the sun. And what else could he use? Maybe a hat, like a snow hat? No, not a snow hat. What about a baseball hat? Yeah, that'd be good. All right, is there anything else that he might need in the sun, do you guys think? What about sunglasses? Yes, perfect. Jack looks ready to play in the sun. What do you guys think? Awesome. All right, let's get Lisa ready for the snow. Hmm, what should we use? Does she want some shorts for the snow? No, no shorts. How about we'll start with a t-shirt, and then we'll have to put on something to keep her warm, but we'll start with a t-shirt. And how about some long pants? We'll put on long snow pants. Yeah, that looks good. What should she put over that to keep her warm? How about a big jacket? A big heavy jacket, that would be good. All right, what else? Does she need something on her feet? Yeah, how about some boots? Those would be good. Some boots for Lisa. We'll put those under her pants. Yes, she's looking ready. What else might she need? How about something to keep her hands warm? What would keep her hands warm? Gloves. Let's get some gloves on her. Very nice. One for each hand to keep both those warm when she's playing in the snow. Hmm, what else? What else? Let's see. How about her snow hat? That would be good. She is almost ready. We have one more thing that might work for her. How about a scarf? What do you guys think? Do you think she would like a scarf to keep her neck warm? I think so. Let's put the scarf on. All right. Looks like they're ready for their, their, their days. Jack's all ready to play in the sun. Lisa's all ready to play in the snow. All right. Thank you guys for helping me. Here's a quick tip. Never skip hard words when you're reading a book out loud. Instead, get a dictionary and play. Let's explore the word to find the meaning of the word together. This is a great vocabulary builder. Today we have a really fun song about some different types of weather. It's called What's the Weather and it's to the tune of Oh My Darling. And it goes like this. You guys join with join us? Let's do it. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it windy out today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it windy out today? Good job. That was so fun. Today for our home activity, we're going to show you guys how to make rainbow wind socks. To get started, all you'll need is a toilet paper roll, some paper, scissors, glue, markers or crayons, and then if you have streamers or tissue paper, you can use those or else you can just use paper. Alright, so what I did first was I color, uh, covered my um, toilet paper roll in paper. You can choose any color you want. Just um, mark on your paper how big it needs to be, cut it roll it, wrap it up, glue it or tape it, and then I drew a little white cloud to put on the front. I just drew it on paper, cut it out, and drew a little sleeping eyes and a mouth. And then I used streamers. I had uh, colorful streamers, so I just used one of each color and taped them on the inside or glue, either way. And then I poked a hole on each side and used some yarn to hang it up. And then you guys can hang them outside. And Miss Silvana, can you tell me about yours? Yeah, those are nice and colorful, Miss Carly. I love the colors. I did the same thing. I used um, toilet paper roll. And if you have any color paper at home, you can wrap it up with that um, of your choice. Also, if you don't have any color paper, just color it. You can paint it a white piece of paper and just use that too. I use some uh, tissue paper I have left over to make my little wing thing here. And I have googly eyes in these ones, and I have little cheeks, 
I had little pom-poms and I used cheeks for the eye, little, um, for my holder I had a little ribbon. So if you don't have um, yarn. Uh, yarn, you can use ribbon, you can use a little, uh, anything you have at home. This one I use paper. So you can use paper also if you don't have um, tissue paper, if you, if you don't have anything else at home, you can use paper. Just have fun with it, but be creative. Yeah, those turned out great. Mm -hmm. And then you guys can hang them outside, and on windy days, they're gonna blow a lot in the wind, so it's a great opportunity to talk about the weather outside, and if it's windy or if it's not windy, when it's windy, it's clearly gonna blow like this, yeah. and it'll be so pretty. And then if you don't see them moving at all, then you know that it's not a windy day. So these are really fun, um, craft, simple, and beautiful. So have fun making your rainbow wind socks. Check out these books featuring our theme for this week. Available at your library. Visit our website for more information at buckeyeaz.gov library. joining us today. We hope you guys had a lot of fun learning all about weather and have fun making our rainbow wind sock. That's right and make sure you guys join us next week to see what we'll be learning about then. But before we go we've got to do our closing song Skinnamarink. Will you guys join us at home? You ready? Yes. Let's do it. Skinnamarinky dinky dink, skinnamarinky do. I love you. Skinnamarinky dinky dink, skinnamarinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. Now it's time to go home, but I'll see you soon. Oh, skinnamarinky dinky dink, skinnamarinky do. I love you.